Measuring matter. Matter is everything that takes up space. When things take up space, we often need to measure them. We need to find out how much space they take up. Volume is one way that we can measure matter. Here's Matt. Matt's going to learn about measuring matter. Matt just moved into a new home. Here's his new bedroom. Here is his old bedroom. Matt wonders how all that old furniture is going to fit in his new bedroom. Measuring volume will help him figure that out. Volume answers the question, how much space does an object take up? Which of these objects takes up more space? The desk? The bed? The bookcase? Or the nightstand? Obviously, the bed is taking up the most space. It looks like the bookcase is next. Then it's the desk and the nightstand. Matt has a little shelf on the wall here. He wants to put all his sports trophies on it. But his dad said it's not a very sturdy shelf so he can't put anything heavy on it. How will he know what should go there and what should not? Matt needs to measure the mass of the trophies. Mass is another way of measuring matter. Mass answers the question, how much matter does the object have in it, or how heavy is it? For this, we use a scale to measure the mass of an object. Now, we can take the lighter objects and put them on Matt's shelf. They have less mass, so they can go up there. We can take the heavier objects and arrange them on Matt's desk, bookcase, or nightstand. They have too much mass to go on the shelf. Now that Matt's room is done, he goes to help his mom in the kitchen. Matt's mom is sorting the food. She tells Matt that frozen things need to be kept very cold so they go in the freezer. Fresh foods like meat, vegetables, and fruits need to go in the refrigerator to stay cool. Other foods can be stored at room temperature, that is, the normal temperature of a room in your house. These things usually go in a cabinet. Foods that we eat hot get cooked in the oven or on the stove. Matt's mom has shown him another way to measure matter, by temperature. Temperature is how hot or cold a thing is. Let's arrange these food items according to their proper temperature. Ice cream is very cold, so it is put in the freezer. Lettuce is cool, so we put it in the fridge. Potato chips are at room temperature and can be kept in the cabinet. Pot of soup is always served hot, so we keep it on the stove. After sorting the food, Matt begins to watch the pot of soup cooking on the stove. He notices that there are some vegetables floating on the top of the soup. Matt has discovered another way of measuring matter, density. 
Density is the word we use to tell how tightly packed things are. Solids, liquids, and gases have different densities. When something has more density, it sinks, and something less tightly packed will float. So, think about the oil floating on top of Matt's soup. Which one do you think has more density, the oil or soup broth? Soup broth is denser than oil. Now, let's compare the density of two different solids. Let's think about a block of concrete and a block of styrofoam. These two blocks have the same volume. They take up the same amount of space. But which has more density? Which is more tightly packed? Concrete block is more dense than a styrofoam block. Now, let's compare the density of different gases. Have you ever seen a hot air balloon floating up in the sky? The balloon is able to go up because hot air has less density than cold air. So, when the air is heated, up it goes. So, which one do you think has more density? Hot air above fire or cold air above ice? That's right. Cold air above ice is denser than hot air above fire. Now, let's summarize what we've learned.